you will not regret watching this video because I'm giving away these 20 million year old sea animal fossils to one of you who watches and comments the hidden word. So if you want to win, let's go. Basically what we're going to be looking for are any kind of weird patterns. Oh, here we go. Now these are super common. This one is a little clam. It doesn't have any textures left from the shell. It's basically just the sand that got hardened inside. Oh, here's one. So this is another one of those clams, but this one still has some of its shell still on it. You can see that really cool pattern. This is the shell right here, and, and this is the part where the shell is eroding away. And you can see that little divot on the back. That's how you know it was a clam. And here's another one. You see the shells eroding away on this side, but let's roll it over. It's got a little bit more shell left on this side. Oh, check this out. We've got a new one. This one's pretty cool. So remember what I said about patterns. You can see the pattern there. This is not a clam. This is actually a snail. And those little, little circles there are the snail's chambers. So far, we've already found three really cool fossils, and I just found another one right there. It's a different species of clam, so check it out. All right, so here's another clam fossil. It looks like a different species of clam from the other one, just looking at the color and the patterns on the shell. Oh my gosh, check this out, look at this. We have our first soft shell clam. You can tell this is a soft shell clam because it's a long oval shape instead of a circle. And it's got this really cool brown color to it and some light lines for patterns, but also, we found this one right in the same spot, and then this one right in the same spot. This one's not super pretty, so we're not gonna keep it, but three fossils in one spot, that's really cool. A lot of people ask me how I know that these fossils are 20 million years old. Well, I'm looking in an area called the Astoria Formation, and Oregon State University has done a lot of scientific research, and all of their evidence suggests that these fossils were from a period of about 20 million years ago. Oh, what's this? Check this out. This isn't a fossil, but it's actually pretty cool. This is an agate. It's like a beach crystal. We're gonna keep that. Oh, score, check this out. Right here. This is a snail. This is a fossilized snail. Let's take a close look. You can see the little swirly on top. Wow, very pretty. Whoever wins this giveaway is gonna be happy with this one. Here's another agate I just found. It's got some really cool textures. It's got black and white lines all over. Some of you might be wondering, where do all of these fossils come from and how am I just finding them on the sand? Well, they actually come from these cliffs. Millions of years ago, these cliffs used to be right at the waterline and animals like snails and clams would burrow down in the mud. But over the last 20 million years, they've got locked in this mud and fossilized. And now they just fall out of these cliffs and then end up on the beach. And that's just from erosion. It's naturally occurring and that's how we find so many of them. And I was just looking by this cliff right here and I found this cool clam. It's a pretty big one, bigger than all the other ones we found. And I found this. It's a tiny snail fossil. You can see the little spiral in there. It's a big rock, but a tiny little snail. It was just a baby when it passed. Oh, check out this clam cake right here. See, there's a little line that goes across. There's an animal in here. Let's crack it open. Look at that. Look at those textures. This is a scallop fossil, guys. And guess what? You can close it back up just like a puzzle piece. Also, if you're enjoying this video, please do me a huge favor and hit the thumbs up button. It's the number one way to support me and it means literally the world. Thank you guys. Oh, and check this out. Oh yeah. This is a clam cake. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna include this in the giveaway and send it to you just like this. That way you can crack it open at home. Look at the textures on this one. This looks like a brand new shell, but it's actually super, super old. As you can tell, the bottom of it's made out of stone, and the top is this really pretty design. And also, I found this right next to it. Another really, really cool snail. And it's so fun to find these snails because finding these squirrels naturally occurring in nature is just really mind-blowing. Oh, and not too far from that other clam cake was this one. Let's crack this one open. What a big scallop. That is so cool. The shell has been trapped in here for millions of years. All right, it's time for the hidden word. The hidden word is actually not just one word. It's your favorite sea animal. Let me know your favorite sea animal in the comments. And if I pick you, I'll reply to your comment and pin it. All right, here's all of the fossils we found today. We found some snails, we found some scallops, some more snails, we found some clams, 
some soft shell clams, and we even found a clam cake that's unopened that I'm gonna be sending to one person who comments the secret words. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next video, and subscribe if you haven't already.